guys and welcome to my channel and to today's video very exciting one today i don't even know if i can fit this in the whole frame but i've got all of the charlotte tilbury blur lips what are they even called actually hang on are they called flawless blur it says airbrush flawless lip blur and i think it comes in about eight shades if i'm right in thinking this is absolutely massive literally i love all of charlotte tilbury's packaging by the way but yeah i've been very fortunate to be sent these by charlotte tilbury look at that that's well cool package um and i'm gonna try them all on i've never tried any of these i don't know what they feel like apparently they're really hydrating i don't know how long they last and stuff like that because this is a first impressions but just in case anyone's wanting to like shade match anything like that i'm going to try them all on so you can see uh, what they look like and it says on the packet that matte meets moisture so it's going to be i'm guessing it'll be like satin will it or does it dry down matte i guess we'll see but apparently it's really hydrating so i can't imagine it'll be that matte but um it says that it visibly blurs smooths and hydrates so let's give it a go from like looking they do look matte but you can see a little bit of tackiness from the photos i'm imagining like they're not going to be like liquid lipsticks where they proper dry down um and you know when they go a bit like a bit crusty dusty i hate that so yeah oh my god what was that <laughs> let's just get straight into it so my first one is going to be pillow talk because i've used pillow talk lipstick and lip liner and you honestly can't beat it it's such a nice shade um so yeah this is what the packaging looks like i love charlotte tilby pack packaging it always feels so classy and i love like the like the um lid is embossed you know like the other like bronzers and stuff it's got that same sort of packaging let's undo it moment of truth oh that looks it looks very similar to like any liquid lipstick brush apart from the end looks very fuzzy can you see that i think this is going to be really fluffy on the lips um i'm not going to put any lip liner on because i want to give you like a really true shade i feel like if i put lip liner on it's going to kind of bleed in a little bit so yeah no lip liner if I was doing this off camera, I would always use lip liner because I always do. But yeah, we'll see if we can kind of push it out to the edges and get that nice um, liner at the edge. But yeah, let's just go in. Has a very subtle scent, actually. It smells very clean. And oh, this feels very creamy. Very, I can see like... It's hard to explain, but it feels blurring, if that makes sense. Do you know what? It feels like a blurring primer. You know, like the um, Benefit Professional. It's got that kind of fuzz, like that funny feeling. That's what it feels like. It feels very nice, though. Very, very easy to apply, guys. I'm, I'm liking this so far. I feel like don't put too much this on. I've put too much on. And I'm going to have to end up wiping some away at the edges because can you see like my top lip has just got too much. And that's like, that's literally only from one dip as well. So just be careful. I wouldn't say you need much of this at all. I absolutely love this shade. It's got that really nice peachy undertone. Oh my God, I love it. I do feel like I need a bit of a darker liner around the outside just to give it a little bit of definition. But that's a really pretty shade. Uh, I'm going to just give it a couple of minutes to see what it dries down like. I won't make you wait for all of them. I will speed them up as we go through. But because this is the first one, I'm just going to let it dry for a second. Right, I've given it a few minutes and it hasn't dried down. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. The pigment is insane. Like it's so nice and it is extremely hydrating, but it stays like this. I don't know, like maybe over like half an hour it's going to dry down a little bit more, but it's just giving that really satin feeling. So you know it's going to be creamy all day, but it's going to literally transfer. See? It's going to be a lot of transfer there. I don't feel like this is the best for eating, drinking, and whatnot. Let me. <laughs> right. You can see how much like it's still on to be fair there's still a good amount on there maybe i put too much on 
because actually this looks a lot better doesn't it i think i'll put too much on you know and this feels obviously because it's got less on this feels more matte now instead of satin oh it's that bit of skin doing Ew, get off. i think this is how you're supposed to wear it and actually this looks a lot better don't put as much on as i did because the color payoff is still the same with like way less and it's now matte so i feel like i can go ahead and drink and eat and stuff and it's not going to come off i think this is going to be my favorite shade though i'm obsessed with this i love it next up we've got shade flame which looks like this really nice burnt orange kind of shade oh that is so nice and did you see i applied far less then i applied like a little bit and kind of you know faded it out with my finger love this one next up is nude blur this looks like a light brownie nude but with a bit of an orange did someone just knock on the door sorry as i was saying a bit of like a orangey warm undertone oh this is lovely as well this is my least favorite so far i would say i definitely prefer pillow talk i feel like that undertone just suits my skin a bit better um it is still very nice though but yeah it's not my favorite of all of them next up we got rose blur i'm gonna love this i know it i love a bit of a rosy shade again i'm just gonna put a little bit in the center a bit more and blur it out i absolutely love it it's well nice for summer i think i love that one i think i still prefer pillow talk but this is my second this is so nice this one is honey blur looks a little dark i don't know if i'm gonna like this oh that's nice actually surprised me this one i think this would look so nice with a really dark brown lip liner that is so nice i feel like i'm saying this about all of them really that is well nice imagine that when you got like a really nice tan a nice brown liner oh i love it it's not too much either is it i feel like it really complements like the makeup i've got on now it's very nice and subtle but also quite bold if that's possible but yeah that's how i feel i really like this one it's probably my oh i don't know i like the rose one as well yeah it's nice this is pillow talk medium blur um i've tried pillow talk medium lipstick I prefer pillow talk like i know i'm gonna prefer pillow talk this is very dark i would like this in the autumn winter i think but for now this is a sort of shade i like as a lip liner so i don't think this is gonna be for me it's quite nice isn't it i feel like this would really suit most skin tones it's very pretty i feel like it's very timeless just a nice classic colour, someone mowing their grass, how rude. Yeah, it's nice, I feel like it's very nice for evening wear. It's not something I would pick though. So I'm gonna give this one a no, but it's still so pretty. Um, just yeah, not what I fancy at the moment. Now we're going on to Walk of No Shame Blur. This looks dark as well, but I think I'm gonna like this. It's like dark, but it's got like a nice coppery undertone again this is something i would wear in autumn winter but i feel like i don't know i just feel like these sort of tones really bring out brown eyes i like this one it's a bit like a burnt rusty orange but also quite dark yeah i feel like you could wear this daytime and evening so that's that one and then finally we've got ruby blur I can't wait to try this. I think all of the other shades, apart from Pillow Talk, they're quite similar. This is going to be very different and I can't wait to try this on. Let's go. I don't know why I'm taking a deep breath. It always scares me to apply like red lipsticks. Oh my God, that is nice. That's like a, the classic red shade. I'm not going to put too much of this on. I don't feel like you need it. No, this is actually stunning for a red lip it, oh my god that is so nice it's not like that cheap tacky red it's a really classy timeless red this is amazing this might even be my favorite red that i've had like i think this is very similar to mac ruby woo if i'm being honest which i love 
this is why I love this. It's not, you know, that in your face, shiny, like tacky red. It's so nice. I love it. This is my second favourite, I'm going to say. Pillow Talk still takes number one for me. But this, really nice. I'm actually obsessed with this red one. I don't know why. I think it's because I don't wear red that much. I always wear nudes and I feel like I'm really feeling this red one. I like it. I feel like because I've got such bright blonde hair as well, red lipsticks just don't look amazing. But I like this one. I feel like it matches. Um, <laughs> like price point, they're about... Are they £27 each, I believe? I feel like that is a little bit pricey, but you see how much I used. I literally just swiped in the middle and then blurred it out to the edges. I know this is going to last a long time. Like, would I prefer if this was a little more transfer proof? Yes, I would, but then I feel like you're not going to have that, like, that hydration because these feel so soft on the lips. Like, if I was because I get really dry lips sometimes and I would actually reach for these if I was having like a dry lip day because it feels really nourishing it oh like it feels a little bit like a balm but not like not greasy or anything it just feels very very nice okay to finish the video because I'm actually now going out so I've gone back to my pillow talk it's just a trusty shade and I've put it on with a little bit of lip liner a bit wonky on this side but yeah i've put it on a bit with a bit of lip liner because this is how i would wear it i'm obsessed i love this it looks like to look at if you was looking at me outside it looks very matte but it feels very creamy so yeah i really like these guys um if you've got any questions about them just pop them in the comments and also if you've tried any of these please do let me know because i love to like I'm really nosy and I love to like know what else people, you know, what things people like and what their favourite shades are. But um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. Please make sure you subscribe and check me out on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.